Hello, in this video, I'll be showing how to create a client server application in Android. So let's start. So I have two projects open. One is the server act server application and other one is the client application. So I'll be going through the server application first. So we have a small UI for the server. So it has a button and a text field. Edit text. Uh, a linear layout which is basically a scroll view where we are going to show the messages and a button that will actually send the data to the client so this is the start button you see the edit the scroll view and the linear layout okay so that's a ui for the server and we have the manifest here where i have declared the activity so it's not important for now so this is the important thing the permission you need to have a internet permission to connect to a socket and send messages so make sure you add this permission in your manifest file and let's go back to the main activity so this is a server activity that uh, starts the server so as usual i have a on create method with uh, with the UI that I have already shown you so I'm getting I'm setting the title to server so that we can identify and I have a color to show the message in green color all right and I just have a handler to show the message in the UI and we have the message list which is the linear layout I'm going to add the messages one by one to this linear layout and I have the edit edit text where we are going to get the messages and send to the client. So here I have a server socket that's a separate class. I'm going to explain it later. And we have a socket. I'm going to name it client socket, temp client socket, and a thread, which is server thread. We'll use it uh, in in a short time. So this is the main thing, the server port which can be anything that uh, your server allows so right now i am giving an arbitrary number 3004 so this should be the same port with the of the client so that uh, they can connect each other so so this can be any port that the server allows okay so make sure the ports are the same and for this demonstration i'm keeping it as this number and the second method is the text view so this is the text that uh, uh, that actually uh, shows a message it's returning a text view this is setting a color and the current time when the message is shown all right and the padding and the text size okay so the show message will sh uh, add the text view to the list view with the corresponding color all right so the button on the click of the button we have uh, we have two buttons here as you see in the ui one is a start server and other is a message to client so on you once you click the start server so that is the first thing we are going to do so we'll i'm going to remove all the views from the linear layout and I'm going to I'm going to say the server started and I'm going to start a server thread that's a new server thread okay let's go to that uh, class the server thread class so let's see what it does so it has a socket UI sorry socket variable and it's going to create a new server socket with that port and once uh, it is created properly means there is no exception so that port has been not has not is being it's not being used by any other server or any other application so it's good so once it is okay we are i'm going to hide that uh, start server button so once it is okay we are going to come in come to this line which is not null and if our thread is okay we are going to accept the connection from the client so we'll be waiting until there is a connection from the client okay once it is once a client 
sense a connection request we'll get it here in the server socket will accept it so this is a client socket so that client once we accept the client socket we will start a new communication thread with that client socket and we'll start that thread all right so let's see what is the communication thread going to do let's go to that class and it has a, it has a client socket and a buffer reader input so that's the buffer where we are going to read and write all right so i'm going to so whatever the communication thread receives as client socket that's from here we are setting it to a global variable the temp client socket and get the output stream of that client socket into a buffer reader which is an input reader which takes an input reader as parameter okay so this is our input and if there is any anything wrong I'm going to show the message show the message error connecting to client in red color if nothing is wrong then we will send message like uh, connected to client so everything is okay connecting to client so this thread is initialized properly so on the start of the thread this thread will be will be uh, we have a while loop so that this thread is waiting for any messages from the client so this will have a input dot read line so any message is there on the on this stream this input stream uh, we are going to read it once it is available we are going to read it so once we when we read that message if it is a disconnect from the client we are going to interrupt the thread and disconnect the thread all right so if it is not a disconnect message that means it's a proper message from the client then we are going to show the message in the ui so that's all whole thing that uh, the server does so this is the method that to get the time in a hour minute seconds format this is just to show the uh, time at which the message has been received from the client or sent from the server okay once when the application is exiting we will check if it is uh, there is a server thread then we will send a message to the client saying disconnect so then we'll see what send message is doing so we know that we have the temp socket temp client socket right here we have already initialized so once we once we have it we're going to start a new thread and we will get the output stream from that socket and we are going to so that's an output stream so we'll write to that output stream since it is an output stream so once we write it to write our message to output stream the client is going to get it so since it's a output stream for that client so once we write it the client is going to get it uh, okay so that's all about the now next thing is we are going to uh, okay we are going to the client so client is also having a small ui make sure you have the internet connection for client as well internet permission for client as well and this is the ui for the client it's, it looks similar to the server it has a connect to server button so to send a message to server it has to first connect and this is the edit text we can type anything and we are, we are going to get that message and send to the server so similar to the server we have a scroll view with a linear le linear layout where we where we are going to add each message all right now we have a message to server button on clicking that we are to we are going to send a message to the server so here comes the interesting part so this is a server port we are going to use the same server port as you see here 3004 for the client also and this is another important thing the server ip you can this is your uh, actual server ip so if you are using two devices and if you are on the same wi-fi make sure you have the proper ip and you can get the ip by going to wi-fi options and you can go in go to advanced and get the ip address of that device 
so you can replace it here and then it should work make sure uh, both are on the same network or your server should allow incoming connections to this port all right so we have a client thread here we'll i'll explain it later so we have a similar thread and message list like similar to our server and handler similar to server and client text column and edit message all right now <coughs> this is the we are setting the ui setting the title as client and the client text color and the handler message list and the edit text similar to the server we have the text view that shows the message and the handler that adds a message text view to the list and shows the message okay on click on the connect to server button we are going to remove all the views from we are clearing the ui removing all the views from the message list and we're going to show a connecting to server message and uh, we'll start the client thread okay okay so let's see what the client thread is doing so client thread has a socket and input similar to our uh, server okay similar to our client in the server client in the server okay and it's going to get the but this client thread is going to get the server by ip so if if it gets the server address proper address then it's going to create a new socket with that server port and address okay and it's going to wait until there is some interruption from the server so it's going to get the input same like uh, we did for uh, the communication thread it's going to get the input stream and if anything is available in the input stream then it's going to read that line and if it is if it is a disconnect we, the server the thread will be disconnected and we'll show that message if it is a proper message then we are going to say server and the message with a time client text color so that's all about client so if you if the client is going to send a message to server so when the client sends clicks this button and we are going to get the message from the uh, text box and we'll call the send message so send message will get the output stream of that socket and it, so that's the server socket here and it's going to write to that socket write to that stream so we are going to use a print writer similar to similar to how a server sends a message okay the print writer it's going to get the output stream so here also it gets the output stream and it will write the message so that the server will get it here similarly we have the get time function and on destroy we are going to send a message to server saying disconnect so that server will disconnect and the client will be disconnected okay so we'll see it in action now so i have my device connected with the device mirrored into my desktop so this is my device i have an app installed a power mirror to mirror my device so so this is the simulator i'm using the server as the device real device so so that i can get the ip and this is my client i'm going to start the server first okay the server is started now i'm going to connect our client to the server okay now the client is connected so so we got the message like connected to client now i'm going to send this message to the client so i'm going to click send to client so make sure in this simulator we should get the message as message to server all right we got the message let's change the message i'm going to say one set to server one so you got the message as message to server one now let's click on let's mm, send a message back to the server so 
let's click the send message to server button okay so the server is receiving the message from the client you see that Just change the message click again so the the server received the message from the client so that's all about it so this is how the client server communication works so you can get the complete source code from my site the link is provided in the description please uh, leave your valuable comments below and uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon as well thanks for watching